All right, so this is on the product rule and the quotient rule. So let's do some examples. So first of all, do you know it? So if you have a function where you have a first times a second, whatever it is, you have something times something else. What is the product rule? Well, it's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. All blurry. How about, what does it look like generically? So, so let's say I give you something generic and I want you to take the derivative. You go the first times the derivative of the second, subtract one to the exponent plus the second times the derivative of the first, which would be four times the derivative of f of x. That's it. What would it look like? What would it look like in this case? You would just follow the rule, that's a three. The first times the derivative, so there's the first, uh, times the derivative of the second, which is just 10, plus the second times the derivative of the first. All right, all of that is just the product rule. How about the other one? How about if you have a quotient? So you have top and bottom. What does the derivative look like? That's the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, and then the bottom squared. So there's the order for that. Now, what does that look like? So if I look at it generically, How would I write this generically? So that's the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom and then you square the bottom. So you could write x to the fourth or just write x squared with parentheses and square it. All right, I'm gonna do one more example. So I want to be able to take the derivative of this. So we go the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom and then take the bottom and square it. That's it. Mr. G Math, I'm proud of you for redoing the quiz. Hey, I wish you the best of luck. Till next time.